So I already briefly mentioned what is uh, asymmetric key encryption, but here we're going to look into asymmetric key encryption in a little more details. So here is a typical scenario in which asymmetric key encryption could be used. Bob in this picture wants to receive an encrypted message from Alice. The biggest challenge here is if you use symmetric key encryption, Bob needs to send his uh, symmetric encryption key to Alice. As you can see in this picture, Eve is kind of waiting for an opportunity to intercept that secret symmetric key. So if I send a symmetric key, there is a pretty high probability for Eve to intercept my symmetric key, therefore being able to decrypt all my message sent to Alice. So to prevent this, the best approach will be using asymmetric key encryption because the nice thing about asymmetric key encryption is you have two keys, one key to encrypt and the other key to decrypt. So what happens is even if I send my key through this uh, communication channel, the key I'm sending called public key is only used to encrypt. So even if, for example, Eve intercepts that key, all she can do is really to encrypt something. So that doesn't serve any purposes for Eve because she wants to decrypt something. So when Alice receives that public key, she just encrypts a message and sends it back through this communication channel and Bob receives it and when Bob receives it, he uses a different key which is called a private key only available to him to decrypt it. So if doesn't really have a chance to decrypt it at all because she doesn't have access to that private key. So in summary, this is how asymmetric key encryption works in steps. So step one is Bob generating something called the public-private key pair. So he keeps the private key to himself and distributes this public key to anybody who wants to send an encrypted message to Bob. Step two is Bob sending his public key to Alice so that Alice can use that public key to encrypt a message for Bob. Step three is Alice actually finally encrypting her message by using Bob's public key and then step four is Alice actually sending the encrypted message to Bob so even if Eve intercepts this encrypted message Eve doesn't have a chance to decrypt it because the only key that allows somebody to decrypt this uh, encrypted message is this private key or secret key only available to Bob and step five is finally Bob decrypting the encrypted message using his private key. So everything can be summarized in this um, figure. So based on my lecture in the previous slide, you can kind of try to figure out uh, how this works. So after you review this uh, figure maybe a couple times I think things will start making sense in case you have any questions of course just let me know and I'll try to help you out